Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to enable SQL Server database replication on Microsoft Azure step by step. So let's move. I have logged into my classic portal of Azure uh, which is manage.windows.azure.com uh, manage and I, I am running two SQL Server database here on the both server uh, on both database on a single server you can click on SQL database and here you can see the two I have two running in standard running database and you can see the server name is p6 adm adux so you can see see my both the database is running and if I go to click any of the database like adm SQL server db01 and draft board configure here you can see geo replication so you can see the prime uh, replication role none and reason central so secondary we don't have any replication sec uh, uh, server here so i want to add secondary and you can see the target reason is selected by default and target server we don't have any target uh, server in east us2 so we have to create a new SQL server either you can go and create the uh, target server in each US2 so new SQL server perfectly fine and put the S your credential here like I want to use the same credential here SQL you put ADM SQL server 01 and make password for it and it's not matching try to type one more time here we go and click yes so now it's confirming like confirm additional billing impact creating a second database has billing impact yes please confirm that you understand the billing yes I confirm and click on ok so adding secondary for database ADM SQL 01 and now it will take some time like the first thing it need to be create a new SQL server database uh, database server so it's creating the database server then it will add the this uh, this SQL server database and the newly created SQL server so it will take some time just so wait for a few minutes it's not going to take too much time because our database is basically an empty database so it, it's not going to take the much time so now you can see the submitted successfully created and here you can see the uh, replication role is primary which is running here on reason second uh, central years and you can see the secondary is online and east us2 and the server name is also here and replication status here it's showing uh, pending because it's not yet replicated so it will take some time to get the replicated db and if you go here it's still not replicated that's why it's not showing here uh, so on the geo replication you can see it's still paid pending replication status no problem I want to go and add one more uh, replication for this SQL server DB2 and go here geo replication and now you can add a server and we have existing server in East US2 so no need to create just select the server and go ahead and deploy the server so it's deployed and you can see the replication status is still pending for second one so if we go here you can see the sec secondary site is up replication is uh, database is up for SQL db01 and now if we go on primary one and on the geo replication you can see the secondary active and replication status is active so good to know and if you go to second one still not created and it will show you the replication status is pending so it will take some time 
to make the secondary copy of SQL DB02 available on uh, each US2. So just wait for a few, few seconds or minutes. You can see the server which is recently replied. You can see the database for now. This will have only one database because the database is not replicated yet. So here you can see the status is active. It means the database has been replicated. And now we have a, f uh, have a second copy of both the SQL Server database in East US location. So this is all about how to replicate, uh, how to enable replication for your SQL Server database on Microsoft Azure. And thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.